Dr. John Stott's ministry has encompassed nearly 50 years of service to the church, not only in England but around the globe. Can you tell me what role have books played in your life? Well, that's an enormous question. Literature has had a tremendous influence upon me, Pavel. I think I would go right back to my conversion. I was really led to Christ through the reading of a booklet. The man who explained to me the steps to Christ had written a little booklet called Life at Its Best. And I read that booklet, and that very night, I came to Christ. And then soon after, I went up to Cambridge as a student, and became a theological student. And during that period, I was exposed to liberal theology. You have to read many books. <laughs> I had to read a lot of books that were very uncongenial, and that I didn't <laughs> want to read. So I had to go to uh, the second-hand bookshops and rummage about mm -hmm. for books that would help me. Students today have no idea how fortunate they are when 50 years ago there was almost nothing available. And other, one other example I'd like to give you is before I was ordained as a pastor in the Church of England, somebody gave me a copy of a book called The Reformed Pastor by Richard Baxter, the British Puritan, written in 1656. I read it up in the mountains of Switzerland and it had a profound influence on me. It challenged me in my preaching, in my care for people, my personal visitation. And I owe a great deal to that book and many other books besides. So can you say that the books were also important in your pastoral ministry and church ministry? Well, Pavel, they really have. And uh, I think the very first thing that I did after my ordination was to begin to build of commentaries mm. because I believe the essence of the pastoral ministry is preaching and preaching to me is expounding the Word of God and you can't do that if you don't study and you can't study if you don't have commentaries in addition to commentaries has books uh, helped also in another way yes uh, books have helped me in at least two other ways I'd like to mention Pavel the first is that I've kept a shelf of books that I could give or lend to people I was trying to help. Sometimes evangelistic books like C.S. Lewis's Mere Christianity, my own little basic Christianity, and books that would help uh, Christian people like Knowing God by J.I. Packer. And the other way that uh, books have helped me is in my own Christian life to challenge and inspire me uh, devotional books and books of history and biography. If only we read more church history and Christian biography, I think we could avoid repeating the mistakes of the past. You are not only reader of the books, you are also a writer, and especially Bible Speaks Today series. Can you tell us why you are an editor of that series? Yes, the Bible Speaks the Day series is very important to me. I have the privilege of being the editor of the New Testament series, which is nearly finished. And we have three ideals in the series. The first is that we grapple seriously with the biblical text in order to understand what it meant and means. Secondly, we want to apply the message of the Bible to the modern world. And thirdly, we want the books to be readable. So they're not really commentaries. Commentaries are reference books. These are expositions. And we believe they're important for pastors, for students, for thoughtful lay people, to help them listen to what the Bible is speaking today. Do you have any message for Christians in Central Europe today? Yes, I think I would like to exhort Christians in East and Central Europe to read more Christian books. I think that the reading of Christian books is a means of grace. That is to say, a way by which the grace of God comes to us. Now, usually, 
the means of grace are thought of as prayer, Bible reading, going to church, fellowship with other Christians, the Lord's Supper, but there is another one that is much neglected and that is Christian reading. And so many of us are denying ourselves a rich uh, Christian resource because we don't read. So I want to say to Christians in Central and Eastern Europe, if you want to grow into Christian maturity in Christ, read more Christian books.